Good news on the injury front this week. Uh, Riley Barrick sustained a force flexion injury to his neck in the first quarter. Um, he came off in a significant amount of spasm. Given it was just simply a pre-season game, we felt no need to risk him with a neck injury. Um, all scans that he's had have come back clear. And uh, providing he can tick some boxes on Thursday night, we expect him to be fully available for this weekend. So great news for Riley. Kurtz has been well documented with his injury history. He's had a terrific pre-season. Uh, probably no doubt the best that he's had. He's been able to build a, a real bank of sessions together and get through a, a vast amount of work. He's building back into full match load on the weekend. In the third quarter, he uh, rolled his ankle. Uh, again, pr from a precautionary perspective, we took him off the ground, um, given it is a practice match and we weren't in season. All his scans have come back clear, and again, we'll test him Thursday um, with a view that worst case he missed this week only. Again, really good uh, news with some of the guys coming out of rehab and really starting to transition into the main group. Uh, Bryden Hodgson hasn't missed a beat following his hip arthroscope. With Bryden's history, we've taken a long-term view to his conditioning and made sure that he's got a lot of work under his belt before we've fed him back in. Um, we've got enough game sense work under his belt now that he'll test on Thursday, and if he gets through, we, we expect Bryden to be available for his first game this week which is really exciting. Similarly, Michael Sotomarco had hip surgery just before Christmas and he's in the same boat as Bryden. Really worked on getting his conditioning base up. He's just got a few more boxes to tick and again, once he ticks those boxes, uh, he should be available for selection.